Good morning boys and girls. I hope that you all had a really lovely weekend. The weather was just lovely, wasn't it? Me and Miss Bannister were saying that we do miss hearing all about your weekend and all your lovely weekend news every Monday morning. Well, I'm going to let you know what I got up to. Because the weather was so lovely, I was able to go on a few walks. I was able to do some drawing outside and just sit outside and enjoy the sunshine. I had a really lovely weekend. But then I was thinking back to, do you remember the bank holiday weekend? The weather wasn't so nice then, sure it wasn't. Can you remember what sort of weather we had then? Yeah, last weekend or two weekends ago, we had a real big storm, didn't we? And the winds were so noisy and trees were falling down and it was a wee bit crazy outside, wasn't it? And while I was thinking about that, a story from the Bible came to my head and I just thought I would share it with you guys. So... When I'm reading out the story, I need you to do something. I need you to listen out really, really carefully for four words, okay? And when I say each of these words, there's going to be a different action or something for you guys to do. Okay, so when I say the word boat, I want you to come up with a boat action. Maybe like you're rowing and you're tugging at the oars of your sailing or your rowing boat. And when, it, when I say the word wind, I want you to make a wind noise with your mouth. Okay, so you might go woo or something like that. And when I say waves, I want you to clap your hands together as if the waves are crashing against the wall like this. Okay, do you want to have a go? Super. And when I say Jesus, I want you to point upwards towards the sky and say Christ the Lord. Okay, let's have a little practice at that. So when I say boat, you do it with me. Pretend you're rowing your boat. When I say wind, I want you to make a wind noise. Woo! And when I say waves, yeah, like they're crashing against a wall. And when I say Jesus, I want you to say Christ the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this story. If you want to, boys, boys and girls as well, if you've got your own Bible, you can look it up in Mark. And it's Mark chapter 4, verse 35. So Jesus calms the storm. The disciples who were Jesus's friends were just absolutely exhausted. All day, crowds and crowds of people had been following Jesus. Listening as he taught and watching as he healed the sick. Now the sun was beginning to set over the Sea of Galilee. Seeing how tired his disciples were, Jesus, Jesus said, let's get in a boat and go over to the other side of the lake. It would be good for all of them to get away from the crowds for a while. The disciples rowed away from the shore while Jesus went to the front of the boat and lay down on a cushion. He was just exhausted too. The waves lapped gently against the side of the boat, lulling Jesus into a peaceful sleep. But suddenly a huge wind began to blow dark clouds across the sky. The waves, they weren't so gentle anymore. In fact, the little boat that they were in began to hit against rocks. Oh dear. The disciples began to get a little bit worried. But Jesus, still sleeping in the front of the boat, then the wind grew stronger still. The spray from the waves got the disciples all wet. This was getting to be a really bad storm. But Jesus, still lay sleeping in the front of the boat. By the time the fishing boat reached the centre of the lake, the wind had turned into an angry gale that whipped the waves so high that they washed right over the boat. The disciples were terrified. I'd be scared too. They thought they might drown. But Jesus still lay sleeping in the front of the boat. Jesus must have been in a really deep sleep. Finally, someone went and shook Jesus. Master, he cried, don't you care if we drown? Jesus looked around. He listened to the howling wind. He felt he felt the cold, stinging spray as his as waves crashed over the little boat. Oh my goodness. Jesus saw the fear in the faces of his disciples. 
Then Jesus, he stood and stretched out his arms to the wind and the waves and commanded, Peace, be still. And all at once, the wind died down and the waves became completely calm. Then he asked his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Is your faith not in me? Jesus, he showed his power over the wind and over the waves. Just as he cared for all of his disciples, he cares for you. Well done, boys and girls, for joining in. And I'm just going to ask you if there's anything that's worrying you in your life at the moment, boys and girls. Maybe you want to talk to your mum or your dad or somebody at home about that. But let me, let me tell you this. Just like Jesus could calm that almighty storm in that Bible story thousands of years ago, he can still help, help you with any bad situations that you're in at the moment, boys and girls. But what you need to do first is you need to ask him. And how can we ask God and how can we speak to him? Yeah, we can pray. So you can join in with me and maybe say a little prayer with me and we're going to pray together. Okay, so get ready. P-R-A-Y. Lord Jesus, I thank you so much that you do care. And Lord, when things do get difficult and things get really tough, just like the storm in today's Bible story, Lord, I ask you that you would help me to remember that you're always there and that I can ask you for help. Because with you, nothing is impossible. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. I hope that you have a lovely week, boys and girls, and I'll see you soon.